the user mode runtime will be part of Twinkcat 3.1 build 4026. We plan to release that in the first quarter of next year. What is the user mode runtime? Until now, you're installing Twinkcat on your computer or on your controller, and the code you're programming, you're compiling is executed in the real-time runtime. We are now providing the user mode runtime, which is a usual Windows program executing the same code as you have programmed and compiled. That supports three use cases. The first use case is the engineering use case. In the engineering use case, we are providing you with debugging and analyzing capabilities like you, you do it with Twinkcat in a normal mode. Even if Windows doesn't provide you with all the features, we are required for having um, while executing the real-time runtime. So you could still use the user mode runtime if you can't use the real-time runtime. The second use case is a special interface we are providing, the external TIC interface. Within the external TIC interface, you have an interface for directing Twinkcat to execute, let's say, 1,000 steps or 1 million steps. You could use that for calculating from the inputs to the outputs, depending on your program, the actual values. That could be used for integrating Twinkcat in some other software components for maybe rendering some images about the position or something like that. The third use case is the fast as possible use case. There you are in the position to execute your, car, uh, your code as fast as possible the CPU could do it. That could be done for maybe having some prefetching, some simulation of your machine later on for doing some planning um, use cases. 